Hello and welcome to a Friday TGIF. Another week is gone and we're looking forward to a great weekend. We thank you for joining us here on the Owatala Today Show. My name is Betty Johnson and what we do on Fridays, we do want to thank the people that make this program possible. Starting with our premier supporters, they are the City of Owatonna, along with Express Employment Professionals, Owatonna Public Utilities, Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steele County, and the United Way of Steele County. Our primary supporters are Amy, Wayne, Amy Swain, Hearing Centers, and the Little Theater of Owatonna. Lots of interlude supporters, some of which are Abraham Consulting Technologies, uh, Bremer Bank, Brenda Bednar Mortgage Office, Glenn Megger and Tim Thomas of the Brook Megger Funeral Home and Medford Funeral Home, Brookdale Senior Living, Claire Bridge and Sterling House, Carlson Branson and Company CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care Professionals, Clancher and Sun Landscaping and Concrete, along with Napo Auto Service. Other interlude supporters include the Owatonna Business Incubators and the Owatonna Foundation, Perfinium Financial and R&K Electric, Snap Fitness, the Steele County Historical Society, Steele County Transitional Housing, Third Hand Incorporated, Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. And we're always looking for more supporters of the program. And if you are a business and would like to learn more about becoming a sponsor, uh, all you need to do is contact Leanne at 390-5751. And if you're out and about and you're in one of these businesses, thank them for being a supporter and help keep us on the air. Uh, another interesting show today, we're going to be speaking with Joshua Archer, who is Marketing Director of Express Employment Professionals, and also Kelly Lynn Meeks. Uh, she's going to be presenting some language English dialects at the Owatonna Arts Center. We'll be on location at the Arts Center for, with Kelly Lynn. So that's all coming up right after this break, so please don't go away. I'm Dan Branstead of Carlson Branstead & Company, Certified Public Accountants. We support the Oatana Today Show. Oatana Public Utilities, real people, real reliable, real progress. Making life a little easier day after day. Taking pride in our community, listening to what you say. A voice you can talk to. We're growing with you, with you in mind in everything we do. Oh, a ton of public utilities. Greetings, I'm Laura Ressler, Director of the Steele County Historical Society, and I welcome you to our History Center. We invite you to join in all our activities events where we honor the past and look towards the future. Joshua Archer is our guest now. He is the Marketing Director with Express Employment Professionals. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here today, Thanks Joshua. For having me. Now you said this is your third time, right? This is. I'm becoming a professional. You like certainly are. That too. About. And, and how long have you been with Express? This will be my sixth month. Sixth month, okay. So it's As a Marketing Director, now what all does that uh, include? Well, I, number one is I go out to new businesses and okay. introduce myself and express and some of the services that we provide and offer mm -hmm. to bi local businesses. And I also put together marketing campaigns, as I'd like to talk about later, mm -hmm. about some of the events that go on in Owatonna and some of the surrounding areas that we, that we have services in. Large job, big job. It is. Yeah. It so is. what are some of the things that are, are coming up? Well, on August 7th, we are having the Owatonna Chamber of Golf event. Um, are you sponsoring it? We are. We are the golf cart sponsors. Okay. So we're providing gifts for everybody that shows up, and that is on the 7th, starting at 11 o'clock. And that's at the Owatonna? At the Owatonna Country, Country Club. Club. And mm -hmm. is that uh, what teams or individuals? What they do, uh, this event is teams of four. Okay. Um, if individuals do want to sign up, they can sign up, and they'll, they, what the chamber will do is just put them with the team that may be missing one person or two people. Oh, okay. And, and uh, so they sign up through Express or through the chamber? Uh, through the chamber. Through the chamber. Chamber, mm -hmm. and you are sponsoring this. And what what is is it a benefit for something in particular? Just raising money for uh, the local businesses in the area and some of the events that the chamber can put okay, on. That and is what yep. it is. it's a chamber thing. That's right. Okay. And that again, you said is August. August the seventh. 
Okay. And it's starting at 11 o'clock. Now, this isn't the first year that you've sponsored this. No, yeah. no, we've sponsored in previous years in okay, the past. Okay, so that's something that, that is kind of a given on that. Yes, so. absolutely. Okay. And then what else do you have? Coming up on August 28th at 1030 to 1130, we're having a webinar. A what? And a webinar. Webinar, okay. <laughs> yes, it's a learning event for local businesses. A and seminar through the web? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so it's kind of neat. You can either, you can do it in your privacy of your own home. You can do it in your in your business. You can put on a training class for your employees and just kind of sit in and just do like an hour of training. And what it is, is we have Doug Lip will be speaking. It's called Even Monkeys Fall from Trees. <laughs> so it's a, it's a learning event um, and how companies can move forward and, and when they make mistakes and how they can come back even stronger sometimes after they make those mistakes okay. and just be more embracing the challenge of change. Now is this for any size company or is it for the smaller Small company? to large. I mean Small everybody large. has their own pain points within mm -hmm. a company and what this will help is just help them be able to see those pain points mm -hmm. and how to how those challenges can be good things sometimes. I mean, there's good stress, bad stress, right. and how you can move forward as a company. So you've been doing webinars regular, regularly? We do a couple a year. Okay. Yep. We do a, a four-hour class that we just did back in March, or in April, and we had a very good turnout. We had about 56 companies show up. Really? And we did it at the History Center. Okay. And it was a live webinar. Oh, so the presenter is through the, the web. Yep, then. they stream okay. it in. Yep. Okay, I was thinking you were at home and got it that way. No. Nope. Oh, okay. So no. Nope. Right. It's it's an event based out of okay. wherever the location is of the filming, and then like this year was in Thousand Oaks, California. Okay. For the last one we did, and we had fifty six companies show up and just talk about any you know various topics that mm -hmm. companies face throughout. Well, that that's the evolution a, of the company. That's great. That way they don't have to travel to, and that can limit who you get. Correct. When they have to travel, if they have to come to Owatonna to uh, provide that service. So that's a great idea. Yeah. And that, again, is they, they have to register by a certain yep. date at all? Yep. And we will send out emails to okay. the companies that we work with. And anybody can go on to Owatonna Express or uh, to Express Employment mm -hmm. Professionals on the website and they can register online as well. Okay. And, it's, and you said there's a certain number, so probably a... Uh, First come, first serve. If you have, if nope, you there's as many. No. Nope. Okay, well that's good. There are many, okay. as many can show up as possible. Okay. And you know, Doug Lip was the training director for Walt Disney Company, oh, so really? he's going to be the the keynote speaker. So I'm sure he's got some good things he can bring you to. You get that behind you, and that's going to bring in people. Right oh yeah, too. absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, like we said, it's just how they deal with some of the setbacks that that they face and how you can bounce back even okay. stronger than ever. Okay. And then they kind of he's going to kind of give you a behind the scenes tour of the Walt Disney Company. So that's oh, going to be oh, fun. Yeah. Um, again, he was the head of training at the Walt Disney Company and Walt Disney University. Mm -hmm. And basically how to when you when you have those challenges, how you can become successful by facing those challenges and being able to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going it's going to be exciting. I, th I think, and you know, I have not witnessed him speak yet, okay. so this will be this will be fun. This will be really fun. And is that the, the last thing you have scheduled so far? That is the last thing for this quarter. Um, okay. Just a little bit of background on mm -hmm. Doug. Um, he's an expert in value-based corporate training and the culture within the corporate um, business levels, okay. and he is an expert in customer service leadership and change management, which nobody likes change. Change management, that, yes. that's a good topic, yeah. You don't it think of it in that way, but yeah. You do need to manage change. <laughs> change, is all, change is good. In, in life. Absolutely. Really, yeah, I'm surprised there isn't a, a college degree in change management. I mean, you have your life, <laughs> you, you have your life uh, um, coaches. Correct. So change management, that's, that's hey, it's something. <laughs> it's, it, you know, and a lot of companies don't realize, but change is it's hard. It's hard for a company to embrace change because you have so many tenured employees mm -hmm. that are used to a certain way, and you introduce that change, and sometimes you get a little resistance. So. Now, you've been with uh, Express for six months, you said? Correct. Uh, what is it that you, have you got any ideas of what you'd like to uh, see or more marketing ideas? Where do you get, where are you coming from? Where do you, are your marketing ideas at? How do you come by those? Well, it's hard for me. It, it is. That. It's, it's a hard, it, it is a challenge, but mm -hmm. I think when you, when you go into these companies, small, big, medium, large, and you see what their pains are and what the challenges that they have, 
you can really market to those pain points. So you're almost like a doctor. But you have to have a product. You do. Yeah. And do you, you know, coming up with a product too is, is probably challenging, isn't it? Um, I think once you get the once you get the pain from the companies, you can go out and you can find the products that you can So you know enhance. what they want and you go out and you try to find people who can cater to those specific Absolutely. topics in that too. So you you have to have a large network yourself then, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. And and we do. We're seven hundred plus franchises. We okay. we have local support, international support. So those marketing ideas and campaigns are really done f as at a local level as well as a international and global level. Right now, um, you're express employment professional, so you don't you aren't just dealing with companies. You, uh, what about um, the people you employ? Mm -hmm. um, it, there's all different um, professions there, and do you uh, have training for them as well? Absolutely. We, we employ anywhere from general labor all the way up to CEO. We can go out and we can actively recruit, which we, we normally do on a regular basis because that's how you... You have to keep your business... You've got to keep it going. Influx, and, yes. mm -hmm. you know, when, when a customer or a client calls in and they have that need, we have those people available for them. We're actively always recruiting for a plethora of different... So the, the, the um, companies who take part in, like, uh, the different seminars you have, do they have, are they ones that are, um, use some of your employees as well, or can they um, not have to use any of your employees and just need that information? Yeah, exactly. It's ex that's exactly what you said. We have companies that do come in mm -hmm. that we have worked with, our current clients, previous clients, and we have companies that have never worked with Express that we would invite to come in and get that training and get that on how we operate and mm -hmm. some of the things that we can bring as a company to them so we can create an alliance and so become... So it's really actually multifaceted. Oh yeah, absolutely. Aspect. Well, you have to be in the today's extremely competitive business world on that too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so. Well, um, we have a few seconds for wrap up. Anything that I didn't touch on you want to you wanna mention? Um, you know, I just want to thank everybody that watches the show, everybody that, you know, comes to Express with their needs and we truly appreciate that and I look forward to meeting new people. I meet new people every week and it's been a great time and and very well, fun. thank you. We hope that you are, are settling in and enjoying Owatonna. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Joshua Archer with Express Employment Professionals. He is the marketing director. Uh, when we return, we're going to be going to the Owatonna Arts Center, so please stay with us. Recreational fires are allowed within the Oatana city limits. They must be contained within a fire pit or a device designed for such use and can be three feet in diameter and no more than three feet high. They must be 25 feet from a building or combustibles. Only untreated or unpainted woods must be used. Fires must be attended by a person at all times that are capable of extinguishing the fire. This has been a safety tip from the Oatana Fire Department. Have you talked to your teen lately about marijuana? Maybe you should. Regular marijuana use can sap a teen's motivation to learn. Users do not live up to their potential and drop out of positive activities. Marijuana affects memory and learning and stays in your system for weeks. Marijuana also affects judgment and perception. Reaction time while driving is reduced by 41% after smoking one joint and 63% after smoking two, affecting the safety of your teen and others on the road. You need to talk to your teen about the effects of marijuana use. It's not just a harmless high. For more information, please contact the Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steele County. Hi, I'm Glenn Mager. And I'm Tim Thomas of the Brick Mager Funeral Home. And we're proud to serve the Medford and Oatana areas with cremation and traditional funeral services. And we're proud to be a part of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, this is Barry Gillespie, president of ERA Gillespie Real Estate, where our pledge is to save you money, save you time, and simplify your life. And we're proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. Hello, I'm David Einhaus with the Oatana Foundation. Thank you to all of our donors who have helped make Oatana a better place to live. Will you join us today with a financial gift? 
Otana Foundation is a proud sponsor of the Otana Today Show. It's Leanne on the go with the Owatonna Today Show, and we are here at the Owatonna Art Center to meet a very special person who's visiting Owatonna this summer, Kellen Meeks. Thank you for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Now, please tell us why you are here in Owatonna. Well, I am here. My sister Kristen uh, is, on, I believe, on the board at the Owatonna Arts Center. Kristen Wareheim. Kristen Wareheim. Uh, and she asked me to do some workshops this summer. So I happily agreed, and I'm here to do a few workshops. Um, specifically, we are, we're planning to do some dialect workshops and some Shakespeare. Okay, well yeah. that sounds really interesting. Yeah. So give us some of your background. You're actually okay. from Minnesota. I, yes, I grew up uh, in Chisago Lakes, Minnesota, which is uh, about a half an hour north of the Twin Cities. M most people, I just say, go to Forest Lake and then yeah. <laughs> get off the interstate. Right. Um, and, and so it's in between Forest Lake and Taylor's Falls. So mm -hmm. I grew up there and um, then I went to college at the University of Minnesota in Duluth where I studied uh, acting and I got a BFA, okay. and uh, I left Minnesota after my uh, college days and went to Penn State for grad school. So I have an MFA uh, in acting from Penn State. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell us, and what some what are some of the things that you did in acting? You're not mm -hmm. currently okay. I you know I would consider myself. I also have two small kids, so uh, as I can right. sh share with you, um, my husband is also an actor, and uh, we actually met. Uh, doing a Midsummer Night's Dream uh, on a national tour. I did a, a year-long tour with the, the national players. And so we played uh, Helena and Demetrius, mm -hmm. uh, which are lovers, so we actually yes. uh, played lovers and then fell in love uh, in that show, which is always kind of a sweet, oh, sweet story. So we, we met uh, doing theater and, uh, and then moved uh, from uh, the DC area, which is where that tour was based out of, to Los Angeles. So mm -hmm. he has been really actively pursuing his career, and I, I decided when we had kids that it just was very difficult to have two actors uh, actively pursuing, um, for sure, theater, because theater is, uh, as much as that's my absolute first love, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to see your children if you're rehearsing uh, plays for eight weeks uh, eight at weeks. night. So uh, I, am, I am still working and I do uh, have done quite a few things for the Funny or Die uh, website the over the last few years. I still keep active with uh, the Los Angeles Women's Shakespeare Company. Okay. Uh, I've been a member with them for about six or seven years and have done a number of productions where all of the uh, parts are played by women, which ah. is uh, a lovely twist. It is since, since Shakespeare's yes, day. Yes, women all, were. Everyone was always. Absolutely. Roles were played by men. Yes, because so. women were not allowed on the stage. Yes, so. I know. Well, I'm glad we've changed that. <laughs> yes, we have. So yes, yeah, so it's actually funny. I kind of uh, jokingly uh, tell people that I've actually haven't played a woman in in <laughs> many years. It would be nice to play a woman, uh, but I enjoy that very much. Okay. So. Now, what is your, um, you also have another job out in Los yes. Angeles, and tell us about okay. that, because that's actually what has kind of brought you brought here to Brought me here, absolutely. So um, I am, I'll start with saying that I'm a certified uh, LESAC kinesensics teacher, so okay, I teach LESAC kinesensics. Okay, so when you um, go to study acting or, uh, or any sort of, you know, acting or art or dance or anything, any kind of program like that, you are usually given a voice and movement methodology. Okay. And LESAC is one of those. It's one of the big ones. You know, we have people like um, Patsy Rodenberg or Kristen Linkletter and Arthur Lessac or Edith Skinner. Or there's all these different modalities to help people uh, train their voice because as we no, especially for an actor, uh, your voice is uh, part of your instrument and you need to take care of it and use it properly and, and all of these things. So LESAC Kinesensics is a, a methodology uh, through which we train uh, people to um, find their optimal voice, mm -hmm. so to speak, okay. um, and not so much through the ear. We don't, we, don't, we, we don't talk about ear training as much as some other modalities might, but it's rather, th rather through something that we call the feeling process. Um, so I can teach you, it, it, the reason being that really, um, oftentimes our ear is a little bit unreliable. 
when mm -hmm. we uh, are talking about our own voices. And uh, I'm sure okay. you can understand being someone that maybe hears yourself on, uh, oh, yes. you don't hear yourself the same way that other people do. Exactly. You, you, and when you hear yourself on tape or you hear yourself on a recorded message, it sounds very different. Uh, it does, so, and you wonder, is that really is me? that really me? Oh my God, do I really sound really that sound way? like that? And mm -hmm. so we're re we're not we're not a very good picture of of uh, we're not uh, so reliable in that way. So the the Lussac uh, method actually uh, teaches people well where where is optimal? What does it feel like when I'm mm. speaking optimally? And where do and that resonance is actually something that I can I can feel. And if it's a feeling, okay. then I, I, I can rely on it. It's something that I can say, ah, I, I know that this event that, that we have explored in class is something uh, that I can rely on. And from there, um, I can train the voice. Oh, OK, OK, all right. Yeah. So now you teach this. Yes, so at... I teach at the New York Film Academy okay. right now. So and the New York Film Academy is uh, it's a for-profit institution. Uh, we are currently based, uh, for a number of years it was working out of the back lot of Universal Studios and now we have more of a kinship with Warner Brothers. So the students get a big hands-on um, experience, uh, being able to film student films on the back lot, Ooh. often having access to that kind of okay. excitement. Um, we offer BFA, MFA, one year in AFA training and it's, it's an intensive hands-on uh, actor, actor training. Um, and they also okay. have, of course, they have filmmaker, uh, a filmmaker department as well. So if you want, are interested in being a director or a producer, they, the school uh, also has degree programs oh, for, for that. Oh, for that as well. Okay. Yeah. And how long then have you been teaching there? So I've been there, I guess it'll be three years in October. Okay. And I teach voice and speech. I teach movement and I teach Shakespeare okay. at, in all levels. So from the one year all the way through the MFA groups. Okay, so now I've, you've been teaching for three years. Any of your students been in anything, either movies or TV, that we might be somewhat familiar with? You know, with? I'm not sure that I have any students that have, you know, I think it's a, 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 a one thing I would say if people are interested in becoming an actor is that the process is very long. So most students, even if they're very talented, it can take them even up to a decade to, uh, to break in. So I don't have any students that I would say you know um, okay. as household names okay. yeah, at All this right. point. And you also kind of wanted to, to talk to the audience a little bit about the industry. Sure. Because we on the outside have a totally different perception of yeah. what it is. I mean, we see these people that they seem to become overnight successes. And <laughs> yes, it <laughs> and does. it's not true. It's very, it happens <laughs> right. like rarely. Most of them probably have been working uh, very diligently for but, you know, unless they come to Los Angeles with uh, connections, mm -hmm. which is, as we all know, nepotism is uh, where m most it's people... It's a wonderful it thing. Is a, yes. It can be a wonderful <laughs> thing if you have it. Um, but, sure. you know, most of the time it is really uh, hard work and, and perseverance, mm -hmm. and uh, it can take years and years. And so, uh, you know, for example, I have, uh, we, we spoke a little bit about my friend Ty Burrell, who is on mm -hmm. Modern Family. Now, I've known him for years, and he has been okay. working forever. And it seemed like all of a sudden he's a successful star on Modern Family, but I can tell you that that man has worked. <laughs> there were times he wasn't working at all. At all. So it's really about... Uh, be, Having a business savvy uh, when you go to LA or any of the other big cities to become mm -hmm. an actor, be about that business aspect that okay. we don't think you're the business sure. is what we tell our, our students. And now tell us what role does he play on, on uh, He Family. is Phil Dunphy on, on Modern Family. <laughs> Feels silly dropping oh, his name, silly. but <laughs> but yes. All right, yeah. yeah. He is just oh, absolutely yeah. He's fantastic. He's wonderful. He very is. talented, and he you know he deserves every every bit of what the success he's enjoying. Okay. So, so um, we have a minute left. Okay. So tell us now what classes um, are available at the Arts Center, and this would be next week. Okay. We're actually still you know, I'm not familiar with all of the classes that they have. I know that they're, uh, the ones that I uh, am offering for next week would be, I think, a Shakespeare and a voice class that might meet next Friday. And other than that, I think um, they would have to go to the website to see. To, to I think check. there's some pottery. Sure. Uh, I saw. So yeah, I'm not too familiar with the other classes. So you actually have two, two classes available next Friday. Friday. And so if anyone is interested, please yes. give the Arts Center a call. That's right. That number is 
oh, and I shouldn't have done this. I, I <laughs> dialed it off. 5033. There, I got it. There okay. You go. <laughs> so, well, thank you so much for spending this time with us, Helen. Sure, my pleasure. We, we really appreciate it, and I uh, hope you enjoy your stay here in Owatonna with thank family. You. Thank and, you very much. Uh, and if anyone is interested in the class, by all means, please call the Art Center. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, I think, for people in this area. You mm. don't have to go to Los Angeles to get these classes. Mm -hmm. You can get it right here. So, That's right. Thank you so much for being a guest on You're Owatonna today. You're very welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amy Martinez. And I'm Adam Martinez, owners of Snap Fitness in Owatonna. Snap Fitness is a fast, convenient, and affordable fitness center, and we're proud supporters of the Owatonna Today Show. Everyone deserves opportunities to have a good life, a quality education that leads to a stable job, enough income to support a family through retirement, and good health. But the reality is, Many children fall behind, many families are struggling, and many others are in poor health. United Way's goal is to find long-term solutions. Thanks to a grant from the Otto Bremer Foundation, we're hosting community conversations this year to address these issues. If you'd like to join us, please call our office. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty. And I'm Deb Gillard with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Clarebridge of Owatonna. And we are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. Thank you for staying with us. This is a Friday, and with the weekend ahead, if you're looking for something to do, if you're bored in Owatonna this weekend, it's your own fault. There are so many things going on, starting with uh, tonight down at Central Park. Disney's Frozen is going to be shown with free popcorn provided by the American Legion. Uh, tomorrow, part of the Park and Rec's weekend out, will be a bike safety course at 9 a.m. at Morehouse Park. And then Backyard Blast at Mineral Springs Park, games and a picnic from 10 until 2. And also on Sunday, a $2 admission to the River Springs Water Park from noon until the rest of the day. It can't beat that. That's a wonderful happening there. Also coming up on Saturday will be the Chuck Wagon Supper at the Owatonna um, Steel County, excuse me, Historical Society, part of their 28th annual extravaganza. That's from 5.30 until 7. Tomorrow on uh, Saturday, excuse me, on Sunday, will be, uh, the, it'll be open for all different kinds of entertainment going on. They'll have the Canon Old West Society performers, there'll be singers, vintage baseball, antique tractor show. If you've never been there, you're in for a treat. If you have, you know how much fun it can be for the entire family. And also you can go into the History Center to cool off if you'd like. They have exhibits going on there. And then also music of the 70s going on at the Seal County Fairgrounds from noon until 6 p.m. Uh, tomorrow on the 12th. $5 admission, lots of bands, Papa John Colstead, City Mouse, the Daisy Dillman Band, and the High and Mighty. They're going to have lots of uh, food and uh, beverages available. Rain or shine, you can bring your blankets and sit along, but they ask that you have no pets. And that is what's going on this weekend here in Owatonna. We hope you take the time to get out and enjoy it. And we hope you come back and enjoy us coming up on um, next week. We're going to be speaking with people from the Relay for Life that's coming up, as well as the Secret Garden Tour time. Again, we'll be learning more about that. Also, Festival of the Arts is coming up, and um, we're touring OPU as well. So lots of things to join us for next week, and we hope to see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. I'm Betty Johnson. For Leon Alt, this has been the Owatonna Today Show. <laughs>